The key to a productive raised bed garden is, without a doubt, the quality of the soil. And over the years, I've honed in on what I believe is the perfect soil recipe. So in this video, I'll share with you all the ingredients I use to create productive raised bed gardens like this year after year. Your biggest investment in the success of any productive garden is the soil. But it takes time to build quality soil, at least several seasons. But the best soil, it's always a diverse mix of quality organic matter. When initially filling your raised beds, mix all the ingredients together and incorporate it well. The U.S. Composting Council recommends that productive garden soil should contain 5% organic matter by weight. That equates to about 30% by volume. When I came up with the soil blend for these highly productive beds, as well as all the other gardens I've been working in over the years, that recipe has served me incredibly well, season after season. When I start my beds, I blend all the ingredients together, and then just continue to top dress in subsequent seasons after that. Here's what I use. The bulk of my raised bed soil consists of high quality top soil, about 50% by volume. Next, I'm adding about 30% high quality compost. While making your own would be ideal, it can be a challenge to make enough to equal 30% by volume for large or multiple beds. That's why it's good to find a reputable supplier of bulk compost. I look for certified compost as designated by the U.S. Composting Council. But if you can't find that in your area, just do your homework and find the best quality compost you can when buying in bulk or by the bag. So after the first 80% of volume is added, there are several other great options to fill out the total. I have six go-to favorites that I use to make up the remaining 20%. Well-aged shredded leaves are a favorite. They're free, plentiful, and a perfect ingredient to supplement the total. They also break down beautifully when added to the soil. Mineralized soil blend made a noticeable difference to the success of everything growing in my garden, and I use it about twice a year. Worm castings, vermicompost, adds five times the nitrogen, seven times the phosphorus, and 10 times the potassium than ordinary topsoil. Mushroom compost is the byproduct of ingredients in which mushrooms grow, what's left over after mushrooms have been harvested. It contains about 3% nitrogen and potassium, a bit of phosphorus and other bonus elements like magnesium and calcium. Aged ground bark is a good carbon source. Freshly chipped wood will rob from rather than benefit your soil during initial decomposition. Ground bark brings a diversity of particle size that can really amp up your plant health. Composted cow or poultry manure. Animal manure is high in nitrogen and other nutrients and makes a great supplement to your bulk soil. Just note, I did not say horse manure. The risk there is that it may contain a persistent herbicide that doesn't break down, even through the composting process. It can create a big problem in your garden for several years. So be safe. I avoid horse manure completely. So that gives you six options to complete the remaining 20%. And don't get hung up on the percentages, just use what you have and divide it into equal proportions. And if you do that, you'll be well on your way to great garden soil and the most productive garden you've ever had.